If you spend time surfing the internet, you will come across many misinterpreted facts which are usually untrue. Especially the 5 second rule for dropping your food. Many of these myths are now thoroughly debunked. Because of it, we have become more skeptical of anything we can't immediately verify with an online search. However, some of those myths, have more truth to them than you might think, as some recent studies have discovered. These are the health myths we tell other people, but if we took some time to look into them, we'd realize that they are not myths at all. Number 10. Exercise makes you smarter. There's no doubt that exercise does a lot of good things for the body. It keeps you in shape, strengthens the immune system, and generally improves the quality of your life. But if someone told you that it also makes you smarter, you'd probably dismiss them. If you look into some recent research on the subject, you'd find that it may actually be true. One study published in Nature Medicine, found that exercising releases a protein called irisin, which improves the neural connections between different parts of the brain, improving our memory and thinking skills. Moreover, it also reduces the risk of Alzheimer's, and other types of dementia. Another recent study, found that sustained exercises, like running and cycling, improves our memorization abilities, and produces a type of protein that helps with the production of new brain cells. Number 9. Eating spicy food helps you lose weight. If you're trying to lose weight, chances are, you've probably heard pretty much every possible fix under the sun. From drinking warm water before bed, to sacrificing to the gods, the ridiculousness of these pieces of advice depends on who's giving them. For scientific research, one of those is less ridiculous than the rest, and may even actually work for most people, that is eating spicy food. In a study by researchers from the University of Wyoming, they isolated a chemical found in chilies called capsaicin, and fed it to mice. When they raised the rodents' fat intake, they found that the mice were unable to gain weight, as long as the chemical was in effect. When you eat spicy foods, especially chilies, the capsaicin in it raises the metabolism rate and triggers thermogenesis, which is just a fancy word for the production of heat inside the body. Essentially, it works the same way as old tales say it does, by burning the fat away, except now it's backed by peer-reviewed research rather than hearsay. Number 8. Women do feel colder than men. The cinematic trope of the guy giving his coat to the girl, because she's feeling too cold, is probably as old as romantic movies themselves. It's meant to signal growing trust between the couple, and if we ignore the question of why women in movies always forget to bring appropriate clothing, it makes for a rather sweet moment. It's not just movies, as it happens quite a lot in real life. According to science, it's not because women are more unprepared for the cold compared to men, their threshold for cold is just different. In a Dutch study, researchers found that comfortable temperature for women, is about 2.5 degrees Celsius warmer than it is for men falling somewhere around 24 to 25 degrees Celsius. The reason for this is because of the hormone estrogen, which slows down the flow of blood to the tips of the toes and fingers during cold months. That's also why ovulating women tend to feel colder than usual. Number 7. Garlic helps with toothache, and a bunch of other things. A toothache is pretty infuriating, and not so much because of the pain but more so the fact that it may necessitate a visit to the dentist, which would potentially involve even more pain. If you have spent a lot of time hanging around with old people, you may have heard of a popular technique to relieve pain, which involves taking a bite of a garlic. While most of us would have ignored it due to how wrong it sounds, those who actually took their advice would have realized that the old folks weren't kidding around. Studies have shown that garlic is actually effective in relieving toothache due to its antibacterial properties. Garlic can also provide quite a few other benefits to the body, like fighting infections, reducing blood glucose levels, and even anti-tumor properties. Number 6. Eating just before sleeping may give you nightmares. Sounds like an inaccurate advice from that one friend, who recently got into fitness and can't stop talking about it. The timing of the dinner should have no effects on dreams, as dreams aren't influenced by our diet in any way. It's something most of us won't even look up because of how stupid it sounds, though if we did, we'd find that it's actually pretty good health advice. Many studies over the years, have found a direct link between eating late and bad dreams, though we don't understand the exact mechanisms behind it. It might be due to our metabolism being overly active when we go to sleep immediately after dinner, which would make the brain more restless, and result in increased activity. It's not just when you eat, but also what you eat. Some food items are especially good at inducing nightmares, like dairy and spicy foods. Number 5. You can catch up on lost sleep on weekends. When you're in college, 
you tend to hear all sorts of claims, that can't possibly be true, for example, you can party through the week, and catch up on sleep on the weekend. According to one study, that looked at sleeping habits of over 38,000 Swedish adults, people who didn't get enough sleep every day, had a higher mortality risk. Surprisingly, however, the people who caught up on their lost sleep during weekends, had the same mortality risk as those with a regular sleep schedule. That doesn't mean that you can stop sleeping during the week altogether, and make up for it by sleeping in for 48 hours straight over the weekend, though it does prove that college kids know a little on what they're talking about. Number 4. Eating a heavier dinner, makes you fat. If you're trying to lose weight, one of the many advice you'll get is the importance of keeping your dinner light, as well as not eating really late at night. It sounds bogus at first, much like all the other weight loss advice scattered across the internet these days. According to science, there's a definite connection between the timing and quantity of your dinner, and that unflinching belly. In one study, researchers found, that the people who have over 33% of their daily caloric intake, in the evening, have a much higher chance of being overweight, as opposed to those who have their heaviest meals, earlier in the day. Not only that, but research also suggests that a heavier breakfast, which is usually missed by many people, lowers your chances of being obese. Number 3. Carrots can improve your eyesight. It has been a long time since the myth on carrots was debunked, as anyone who has been online any time in the last 10 years would know. We now know that it was all because of a false campaign by the British Ministry of Information back in World War II, which purposefully propagated the myth across German-held territory to hide their recently developed radar technology. If that made you completely give up on carrots for being utterly useless, it's time to reconsider. The myth on carrots was based on a lie by the British, but that doesn't automatically mean it's untrue. Carrots contain many compounds that can improve the health of your eyes. It also helps the body produce vitamin A, which helps our eyes to convert light into signals understood by the brain. Vitamin A is directly responsible for our ability to see in low light, and deficiency in it can lead to a degeneration of the cornea, which may even cause permanent blindness. Number 2. During the monsoon season, the joint pain becomes worse. When you talk to old people, that are suffering from arthritis, they will tell you how the pain gets worse during the monsoon season. Some of them even claim to predict the change of seasons by the pain alone and doctors have never been able to explain it. After all, how can weather affect pain in the joints? Thanks to science, we now know that it's not just old people being old people, weather does have a definite impact on joint pain, especially arthritis. A study found that changes in barometric pressure, room temperature, and humidity, have a noticeable impact on arthritis pain, and the more they change, the worse the pain gets. These parameters vary the most during monsoon which is why there are many more medical visits for arthritis during this time, than any other time of the year. Number 1. The cold makes you sick. The cold doesn't actually make you sick. Catching a cold isn't really a thing, as it's viruses that make you sick, not the cold. However, for those who are still getting sick with the cold, and flu, much more during the winter season compared to others, the frigid weather does have a lot to do with it, even if it's a virus that causes the sickness. If the cold weather itself can't make you sick, flu viruses actually thrive in cooler temperatures, and they absolutely love low humidity. And the fact that they're able to survive, outside their human hosts for longer periods in cooler environments, and you have the perfect recipe for a good old flu epidemic. Moreover, our bodies also react in a different way during freezing temperatures outside, making the common cold even worse. According to a study, the immune response in the nasal cavity, doesn't work as well at lower temperatures, though we don't quite understand why, 